All right, the Conquering Hero duet. I'm going to play it for you first, and then we'll work on strategies for figuring it out. I'm looking at my ginormous score book here. Oops. Good thing I didn't wreck my read, which has all of the notes possibly on there, so they're written kind of very tiny. All right, but I'm going to see how well I can read this. All right, here I go. This is 121A. A and here's 121B. How'd you like my squeaks? All right, so anyway, you get the general idea, all right? Um, I've got to practice a little bit more, to be honest with you, and hopefully by the next time I put up videos, my tone will improve on my clarinet because I'm going to be playing these things every day, making these videos for all of my classes. All right, now, here we go. So the idea would be, in this song, a couple of things to watch out for. The dotted quarter eighth note rhythm. Okay, dotted quarter note is how long? I feel like I'm on Blue's Clues, how long? You can pause the video if you need time. All right, it is one and a half beats. That's correct. And uh, the eighth note that follows it is a half a beat. That's right. So <clears throat> what I would recommend that you do is to say the rhythm for the first two measures and tap your foot. All right. So so um, listen how I say this. Ta, ta, ti, ta, ta. And the key thing with that dotted quarter note is that your foot goes down, up, and down. Let me just put this here. Okay, that's going to stay put. Hold on a minute. <coughs> Pay no attention to all those jars of stain over there in the cabinet. Okay, so watch. The dotted quarter followed by the eighth. Ta, ti. That's the key thing. Ta-ti. I often say to students that the quarter note, your foot goes down and it comes up, and then the dot is the extra half beat, your foot goes down. So you think ta ah. and if you give that little second tap, think of it as the dot and the ah, and then on the upbeat you do the T. Ta-ti. Okay? So once you're able to say that, then what you could do is just play it on C. So here, here I go. I'm just going to play the first two measures on the note C. Okay, and then what you do is you practice that until you can get that confidently with your foot tapping. After you can do that, then add in the notes. Alright, and that's how you would approach that. Both the A and the B part are the same rhythm with just different pitches, so it's kind of like a two for one. Uh, now, in the next measure, uh, actually, if we look at the next two measures, you got slurred eighth notes and then quarter notes and then a whole note, and in the B part, you've got four quarter notes in the fourth measure. But the key thing is the slurs tend to rush. Most people will tend to kind of lose the beat because what it is is your fingers are making the rhythm as opposed to your tongue. and um, that tends to mess people up. So what I always recommend you do is to say the rhythm first without slurs. So this is the third and the fourth measure of the A part. So here I go. T T T T ta ta ta. And let me give you my the foot view again. There's the old foot. T T T T ta ta ta. Okay, so no T, 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 you got those eighth notes, right? All right, now, if you say it and tap your foot, then you want to play it, but guess what? Just play it on C, or you could pick a different note if you want, but just don't worry about changing fingers. 
Here goes. So if you can do that and tap your foot, then the next step is to do the notes that are written there. But again, not to do the slur yet. Here I go. Oh, where'd it go? So that's a little more challenging, obviously, because your fingers have to do different things while you're still tapping your foot, all right? Then finally, you add the slurs. And again, we don't want to change the rhythm. We want to make the rhythm with our fingers, all right? So here we go. I had a little glitch on that first thing because my finger hit the side key. Let me do that again. All right, and that's the idea with that. So again, with this, if you just keep going through in the same manner, practice two measures at a clip, say it and be able to tap your foot first, then say it and play it on one note. Uh, and if there's slurs, leave them out. When you can do the notes and, you know, the tapping of the foot correctly, then add the slurs. All right, so have fun.